what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best centers in NBA 2K22 my team. Just with every ranking video I've ever done on this channel, this is entirely my opinion and based on my play style, the way that I look at cards and all of that. So if you do have, share a different or have a different opinion, that's totally fine. Feel free to leave a comment down below once you've watched the video and let me know what you think of my list and what you would have changed. Um, before we hop into it as well, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 2500 subscriber mark of the channel, uploading multiple videos videos every single day so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the 2k22 my team content but without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at the top 10 centers in the game in my personal opinion so at number 10 we have mark eaton uh, mark eaton is a very very solid inside like paint beast type center he's like the perfect paint beast build i feel like uh for like a park center for example 88 offense 95 95 defense 7 4 with a 7 7 wingspan so he's very very tall very very cheesy in that respect uh he comes with gold drop stepper gold back down punisher gold lob city finisher postman technician put back boss rise up hook specialist grace under pressure all these interior finishing badges then he comes with a decent amount of um decent uh well he has glue hands as well which is nice for a big he's gonna catch the ball well and all that and he comes with a bunch of good defensive badges on the interior box brick wall defensive leader hustler intimidator post move lockdown or post lockdown i'm sorry rim protector tireless defender worm chase down understand interceptor um i don't think he has rebound chaser which is a little bit annoying but you know what it's not that big of a deal um he doesn't really get a lot of badges that you probably want to actually add on this card because he's a 43 point or 40 mid range of 25 3 he's also incredibly slow um and has no lateral quickness but on the interior he's going to be a monster he's going to grab tons of rebounds he's going to dunk the ball he's going to hit post hooks post fades um just be a menace in the post uh basically very great rebounder just going to be a very very annoying card to deal with because of his ability to set screens roll to the basket and then post up get rebounds get putbacks put some easy shots just he's just going to be annoying to play against jump shot 25 i don't really know what his jumper is looking like and honestly it doesn't matter because you're never actually going to shoot with this card but just as a pure paint beast annoying center mark eaton is one of the better options in the game coming in at number nine we have a guy in dwight Howard who's definitely shorter than mark eaton and also doesn't have a jump shot but i do think is a better card for sure and the reason i say that about dwight is because well he's 86 offense 8 91 defense statistically he's not as good as mark eaton in a lot of ways but he has much better speed acceleration speed with ball uh, and I think that helps him out a lot. Also still has 89 strength, solid interior defense and block. Uh, he's 6'11 with a 7'4 wingspan. Really, really just good interior defender. He also has some decent perimeter of defensive ability as well, especially for a center. Comes with bronze clamps, which is nice. Um, no gold badges on this card, but he has a lot of the good silver finishing and defensive badges as well as bronze finishing and defensive badges. Um, does come with bronze glue hands as well. Going to be another great rebounder. This card is like a mini Shaq is kind of how I describe him. He's not as good as Shaq in really anything, but he plays very very similarly to Shaq. He's just not quite as big and statistically isn't quite as good. Uh, also does not have the ability to shoot the ball at all, but his athleticism helps him out a lot and he can definitely guard some of the dominant inside bigs in this game. At number eight, I'm going to go with Brad Doherty. Um, Brad Doherty is a card I think has gotten very, very overlooked because he's the nobody looking at pink diamond token awards is looking at brad doherty uh and that's understandable because there are better centers in the game than this brad doherty card but he's definitely actually a pretty solid card 94 offense 92 defense hot zones from uh most over spot inside the mid-range he has an 88 shot mid as well so he can knock down the mid-range jump shot hall of fame drop stepper and post spectation he's going to be very very nice in the post especially at seven foot with a seven four wingspan comes with 89 strength as well um not going to be much of a shooter although from the mid-range he should be able to knock him down uh playmaking badge he comes with gold, silver dimer silver bailout and gold bullet passer gold, i think bullet passer is kind of an underrated car, uh, badge in my team people kind of overlook it in park people don't overlook the bullet passer badge it's a very very good badge um in that it helps like when you get an offensive rebound you're passing it out to the corner for example um they throw the pass much quicker and it makes it much easier to get that shot off without getting contested i think that's a very valuable badge that he has um also defensive badges wise he comes with gold um chasing an artist brick wall box hustler worm silver intimidator pogo post lockdown rebound chaser rim protector he also has bronze defensive leader and interceptor so just a very well-rounded card not going to be shooting the ball super effectively and he's not incredibly athletic jump shot 36 isn't great either but from the mid-range he should be able to knock him down and he's got decent enough speed and acceleration um not one of the slower centers in the game um he's going to be quality on the inside on both offense and defense just a solid all-around card uh with a little bit of shooting as well from the mid-range that those other two guys behind him do not have at number uh seven i'm going to go with chris boucher chris boucher is probably the lowest tier card i think he is the lowest tier card in this list and the reason i say chris boucher is um 
on this list or deserves to be on this list is because uh, he just he I don't know he's there's something about this Chris Boucher card that plays so well he's got a 79 shot three and a really good jump shot that's the first thing I want to say this jump shot is super super nice it's very easy to green very consistent um, he's also got 57 speed 55 acceleration which is definitely slow but it's not too slow he has a little bit of perimeter defense as well it doesn't get killed on the perimeter I don't feel like um, and then he has the ability to dunk he can stretch the floor uh, he plays a decent enough defense he rebounds decently enough he's not huge he's like six foot nine seven four wingspan does have long arms but he's a little bit short but that being said still a very very nice card uh, bronze rim protector gold or, i'm sorry silver pogo stick rebound chaser worm brick wall box uh silver rise up lob city finisher post spin technician put back boss slithery catch and shoot shot shooter um does not you can add glue hands and bullet pass to this card if you wanted to which are two nice badges for a center to have but um just a very very solid all-around card he's a stretch big and i think the fact that he can stretch the floor and has a good jump shot helps him out even though statistically on the interior and in terms of his athleticism he's not as good as a guy like brad doherty his ability to shoot the three ball really helps out a lot and for that reason i am a huge fan of this chris boucher card he's my backup center currently until i get wilt um but i really like chris boucher a lot at number six i'm gonna go with bob pettit uh, Pettit is very similar to Boucher in the fact that he's also kind of a bit slow. Um, he's just he's very similar in speed actually to Chris Boucher. He's also six foot nine, has a shorter wingspan, but he has an 88 shot three instead of a 79. Although I would say I probably prefer Chris Boucher's jump shot. This set for shot 14 isn't great, um, but it's not terrible. Um, and he's got the post ability. He can dunk the ball a little bit. Decent enough defender. Very similar. This is a very similar card to Chris Boucher. Just has better badges and slightly better stats. Um, and he has hot zone hunter corner specialist catch and shoot on gold blinders dead eye fade ace on bronze break starter post playmaker on um gold you could also add bullet pass or glue hands quick first step uh triple threat juke badges like that if you wanted to this card can add all the defensive badges or most of the defensive badges except for the ones that you'd really probably want to add to them which is kind of annoying but um if you want to add some of those defensive badges or even finishing badges you could do that as well jump shot is okay as i said he's a good stretch big not a great defender not incredibly athletic but a very very solid offensive stretch big just a slightly better chris boucher i think is the best way to describe bob pettit at number five, I'm going to go with Jerry Lucas. Um, Jerry Lucas is a guy who is honestly in that same mold as Pettit and Boucher in that he is not super tall. He's only six foot eight at the center position, 6'11 wingspan, but has the ability to knock down the three and play make i guess a little bit not really play make a little bit but play solid defense as well uh, i think he's the best defender of the three probably in terms of having 89 strength 88 interior 88 block um again very very similar in speed to those guys from that 57 to 60 speed range uh 87 shot three though jump shot is really nice uh ray allen base honestly release 11 is kind of a gross upper but he does have the ray allen base and it's not hard to time um comes with a couple hall of fame badges grace under pressure and set shooter which are solid enough um catch and shoot he should be a really good shooter he has the rebounding and defensive badges as well as rim protector and intimidator to compete on the inside uh and just i think he's a very solid card i think he's the best of these three guys boucher bob pettit and lucas but honestly all three of these guys are pretty much going to give you the same thing on the court they can play a little bit of defense stretch the floor and honestly that's about it they're stretch bigs with a little bit of defense not a ton of defense at number four we're going to go with tim duncan tim duncan to me is would be a little bit better if they gave him a little bit more of a usable three ball um i think that might be obvious but he has 69 speed 68 excel 62 to the ball which is definitely up there with some of the highest i think that might be actually the highest that we've seen on this list so far 92 offense 95 defense comes with hot zones from most every spot inside the mid-range and one spot on the three-point line which actually is interesting but only with a 53 i think he's still going to struggle to shoot the ball even on the game that allows you to shoot with a low three-pointer if that was a 65 you could probably knock it down with a 50 probably not going to be happening um has hall of fame drop step or post bang technician and post lockdown as well as room protector which are really good hall of fame badges on that interior gonna help him a lot on the both offensive and defensive ends of the court uh also it comes with uh, bronze clamps bronze menace bronze rebound chaser comes with intimidator on gold pogo stick and gold defensive leader on silver hustler on silver um just a very very nice all-around card great rebounder great interior defender good strength solid enough ability on the perimeter as well that bronze clip is going to help decent athleticism can shoot the mid-range tim duncan's jumper's gross i mean it's it's always been gross it's not great but it 
actually feels like it's a little bit better this year. I feel like bad jumpers aren't quite as bad for the most part this year. Uh, and maybe that's just because we're early in the game and every jump shot's on normal timing for the most part. But honestly, Tim Duncan's jumper is not terrible. I don't like it exactly, but it's not the worst jump shot in the world. It's definitely manageable. And um, he's going to be an incredible interior player, catching the ball on the, on the block, making plays, playing elite defense, has a little bit more athleticism than most of the centers in the game as well. Just a very, very good all-around card is Tim Duncan. At number three, I'm going to go with Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka is my favorite center in my team right now. Um, he is my starting center. 89 offense, 91 defense, 6 foot 10 with a 7 4 wingspan. He's got a good player build as well. Hot spots from most spots inside the mid range. No spots outside the three. Only six gold badges, but his gold badges are lob city finisher, put back cross, rise up. So some dunking badges, and then chase down artist, post lockdown, and rim protector. Also has silver intimidator, silver brick wall, silver box, and silver rebound chasers. So some of those defensive and rebounding badges. You can add most of the other defensive badges if you'd like to on this card, as well as like menace, in, um, interceptor. A badge like clamps if you wanted to ankle braces things like that uh you could add some playmaking badges to him as well if you want to i don't really recommend any of these playmaking badges except for glue hands and maybe break starter but um he does also get some good shooting badges and the thing is with an 85 shot three and his jump shot is chicken he is the best shooter on this list I will stand by that. Serge Ibaka is the best shooter on this list because I think he has the most consistent jump shot of anybody on this list. His jump shot is very smooth, very easy to green, and very fast. Has catch and shoot corner specialist and set shooter on Borons. He can also get blinders, dead eye, hot zone hunter. Um, I don't know about mismatch expert, but sniper, which is similar to flexible release in the past slippery off ball. He can get all these shooting badges that are going to make him even better as a shooter. As a pick and pop big man, you're not going to get better than Serge Ibaka in this game right now. He also has the interior defense, solid strength, and the dunking ability to compete on the defensive and offensive end in other areas of the game as well best free center in the game well actually that's not even true but he is the best token reward card probably in the game when you are in the amethyst token market you should get serge Ibaka. i will tell you that right now great great card at the center position incredible card i'm a huge fan of serge Ibaka. at number two i'm gonna go shaquille o'neal and shaquille o'neal is very very solid uh he's got 79 speed and excel with a 69 speed with ball which is by far the best that we've seen on this list 89 offense 97 defense but his offense he can't shoot the ball at all he's a great dunker good post player uh i don't think his post animations are that great but 7-1 with a 7-7 wingspan and as well as having 98 strength he's just going to back everybody down and dunk the ball on them or lay it in over them there's just nothing you're going to be able to do about it defensive badges are good he also has hall of fame brick walls with all the interior badges that you could want on gold um has back down punisher and rise up on hall of fame as well is in addition to a bunch of gold finishing badges as well not going to shoot the ball at all his jump shot's terrible but glue hands and post playmaker are on silver and bronze respectively and he can get bullet passer as well if you'd like to add that to him jump shot is terrible but it doesn't matter because you're not going to be shooting the ball with Shaq. He's going to rebound, play defense, dominate on both ends of the court on the interior. That's what he's going to do. And he has great speed for a center at this point in the game. And then at number one, we have the exact same card. Not exactly, but a very similar guy in Wilt Chamberlain, a guy who can't shoot the ball just like Shaq, but is a dominant inside big. And Wilt is seven foot one with an eight foot wingspan. Speed and acceleration speed of the ball are not quite as good as Shaq's, but I feel like he moves better even than Shaq does. He's so big and long. His eight foot wingspan, he plays every lane. Um, he's very, very tall and hard to stop. Comes with the Hall of Fame pogo on defense, which is really, really nice. So it's that drop step or lob city finisher and rise up. So as a dunker and a finish, a defensive player, as well as a finisher, he's going to be a dominant. Uh, playmaking badges wise, he can't get bullet passer, which is all right, but he can get glue hands um, and post playmaker if you want to add those to him for it to catch and pass out of the inside um and not gonna be shooting the ball at all his jump shot very similar to Shaq is gross and his three point and mid-range ratings are too low to be really knocking those down anyway but he's got a great interior defense great athleticism good dunking um his speed is good his post play is very well and he's the best defensive center in the game i would say that i think he moves the best of any defensive center just a great card if you want to add interceptor to him as well he's just going to be a menace in lanes um just a incredible incredible card i think statistically wilton Shaq are close but i think wilt's and animations are better especially on the defensive end of the court and on the offensive end of the court he just feels so long he's so hard to contest um that i think wilt is the best center in the game now i will say my favorite center in the game is serge Ibaka because i like having a pop save a, a center who can pop but once i get wilt i will still be starting wilt and bringing serge Ibaka off the bench because wilt is just so dominant on the defensive end of the court and even unstoppable on offense he's just so so hard to stop such a good card um but yeah that is going to do it for my list. These are the top 10 centers in the game, in my personal opinion. If you agree with me, let me know about it down in the comments. If you disagree, also let me know about that. Who did I rank too high? Who did I rank too low? Who did I leave off this list that you would have liked to have seen on this list? Um, but yeah, if you also enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 2,500 subscribe mark on the channel. And I'll be back with more 2K content 
very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.